Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Joe. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to fix a really known issue. I get this comment a lot in my YouTube comment videos on how to create a Minecraft server modded. A lot of people say they have the issue where they double click on the start.bat or on the forge file and no folders get created within the server folder. So I'm going to go ahead. Usually what happens is the, the people have been telling me that the, the, the command uh the start.bat will open up and then it'll shut down immediately and no files will be created even people have been clicking on the forge file and nothing happens so let me go ahead i i went ahead and started from beginning let me show you guys how to fix this issue guys so for this example i'm just gonna go ahead and use the minecraft 1.16.5 server um we're gonna go ahead and use the 1.16.5 because I do know that uh, the 1.17, you do need like a new Java or something. So I'm just going to use this Minecraft Java. So if you guys don't know, a lot of people also ask me, how do I download the older version of a server? You know, instead of because Minecraft.net will always update the server file to the newest, latest version. So as you can see, all I do is I write Minecraft 1.16.5 server download and that's it. And then I'll see you guys will usually see Minecraft Java edition release. Click on that one and then you should get the server right here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is download the server. And then what we're going to go do as well is we're going to download, we're going to go to the actual Minecraft uh, latest version right here. And we're going to copy this right here. All right, guys. So we're going to copy this. All right. So now we have our server file here. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're going to go ahead and drag this in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this to just server like so. So now we have our server file in here. Okay, guys. We copied this right to go ahead and create our start.bat. So if we go to text document, we'll open this text and then we will put this in here. And we need to just run the server.jar like so. So we're running the server.jar, which is the file right here. Um, real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to 2048. And we're going to do the same one for this one. 2048 okay so let's go ahead and click file save as we're gonna save it as an all files we're gonna name this run dot bat like so save so now you can see we have a run command right here and that's gonna be able to run this server okay guys so here's the issue right a lot of been a lot of people have been telling me they they when they double click on this run this doesn't load up nothing happens so let's go ahead and double click on this you can see it went ahead and it closed right away guys when i double click on it it just basically closes it out and it doesn't do anything so you can see it doesn't even do anything which is yeah so what what i would recommend you do at this point okay yeah so you can see it's not even opening at all anymore for me so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is click click on it edit we're gonna click on edit and then under the command line guys right here under this we're gonna write pause okay so what that does is it allows instead of it closing right away it'll it'll give us a second for it to pause like this so now we can actually see what the issue is okay so as you can see there's no files that get created and everybody has trouble with this guys everybody so you can see that right here it says java is not recognized as an internal or external command so let's go ahead and click any key okay guys this is a very very simple fix i mean very simple okay guys the issue here guys is we don't have java installed you guys need to make sure you download java all right so just to show you guys, I don't have Java installed. If we go ahead and write Java in our apps and features here to uninstall, you can see we don't have anything here. And that's why this isn't opening up. All it's going to say is that Java is not recognized. So meaning we don't have Java installed. So what we have to go do here is go to Google, write Java, and then we're going to click on the first link. And then we're going to click Java download, agree, start free download. And there you go. So now your Java is going to download. Once that's done downloading, you should have zero issues, guys. All you need to do is download Java. I, I get this issue so much. And I, I do have to admit that within the server video, I did not advise that you do need to install Java. So I do apologize for that. I kind of figured uh, everybody would know that because you need Java to play Minecraft. So I kind of figured everybody would kind of know that. Um, but that's fine. So this is how you go ahead 
now let's open it up we're gonna actually go ahead and install this so all you have to do is click install guys it's gonna go ahead and install it and that's pretty much it guys that is pretty much all you have to do i'm gonna show you guys once the java is done up uh, downloading that it sh should go ahead and launch up the server now um i really hope this fixed the issue for you guys because i do know a lot of people have been having issues with this and guys this is as simple as downloading the latest java so i'm gonna leave links down in the description below for you guys um there's gonna be a java link down there and you guys can just go ahead and click on it it'll bring you directly to there and then you just can go ahead and click install and then it should completely install your java with no problem it is really really quick all right so our java has successfully been installed so let's go ahead and open up our server now and, and let's double click on run and look at that guys look at it look it's already creating the other files that we need there we go let's double click on the ula let's confirm this to true file save and let's rerun the server and there you go you should be able to run your server guys and that's pretty much how you do it if you guys you know i really hope this video helped a lot of you guys and i know it, it was definitely a common issue so i wanted to try to figure out and and how to actually help you guys fix this issue i really wanted to help you guys if this does come up just make sure you click allow um access so basically guys that's how you go ahead and fix the server issue if you guys have any questions please leave them down in the comments below i would really appreciate that guys and thank you guys so much for all the love guys i am pretty much done my school as well uh so i'm basically going to be uploading every single day again um so i'm very excited about that thank you guys so much for your patience and i hope you guys have an amazing day guys adios